For the beginning, let's look back at our first update of the year, which brought us some new cool exploration tools within the January update. New metal tools were added, which are way more durable than the common ones. As soon you found their blueprints, you are able to craft them. New metal tools are axe, pickaxe, spear and hammer. Also a spy class was added, which allows you to spot things in far distances. It is very useful for exploration and hunting. On top of that, we added a metal storage box for all of your items and also a function that allows you to give your camel a name. Let's head to our February update, which was totally focused on the camel. It brought us some new items like a camel saddle, which can be customized with a sunroof to protect your camel and yourself from the desert heat. Also, we added a few mechanics for the camel that allows the player to whistle to his or other tamed camels that will then follow him to have a caravan. That can be very helpful if you want to move to another oasis or new base location. Let's see what the March update came up with. Crocodiles were added to the game and you can now find them in the southeast and northwest oasis of the map. If you are able to defeat a crocodile, you will be rewarded with new items that got added to the game. Also, an armor stand, a new fireplace and a new bed were added to upgrade your base. Also, we added 4 different difficulty settings, which can be selected at the very beginning before starting a new game. Now, each player can play how she or he likes. In April we got new company. 10 different beetles were added to the game. You can now look for them and collect them. A new item was added which helps you to find the beetles. With the sand digger you can bring them back to the surface and collect them. You can then give the beetles a new home inside your base with the new added item, the terrarium. Also an album was added to the game in which you can check out which beetles you already collected. Also there were 3 rune towers added to the map. When you find them, you will be able to craft a new tower-like base building. In May, we went for a wild ride. We added a sand board to the game, which gives you the possibility to surf down sand dunes. It's not only about the fun, it also saves you some time when traveling through the desert. You can now create multiple save files to have different save games at once. Besides that, we added also new building parts for your base. As you can see, there were plenty of new things in the past months, better get back to play Star Sand right away. For June, we won't release a new update, as we work very hard on the July update, which will be a bigger one. So, if you can't wait to see what the July update got for you, better check out the current roadmap. We wish you safe travels in the open vast desert of Star Sand. <laughs>